Hey up, me out, it is Roby here. It is Sunday night. Thank you very much indeed for uh, dropping by. As always, it is super, super appreciated. Again, I say it's Sunday night. It'll be Monday by the time you're watching this because uh, because I'm going to post it tomorrow. That's why there's no. You know, that's why it'll be Monday when you're when you're watching it. So um, yeah, uh, a bit of a break actually here because it's going to be. This is actually going to be the first ever macro beer that has been on the channel. Um, we all know that I've always said I'm never going to put. Um, supermarket beers on the channel and that's no sort of uh that's no shade on beer being in supermarkets or anyone who buys the beer from a supermarket more power to you you know i'd be lying if i said i didn't occasionally buy beer from supermarkets you know we all do it uh, i just think there's enough places and enough people posting about you know punk ipa as there is so there doesn't need for me to be doing that as well so um i also kind of had a sort of a blanket ban almost of macro beer being on the channel but um, it is a proper um, bucket list beer and it was bought from Brewcaven. So it has been bought from an independent um, uh, bottle shop. Uh, and so, yeah, well, here we are. I'm not, I, and also, I don't have to I can explain myself to you. Do you know what I mean? Like, no one's watching this anyway. I can drink whatever I want. You know, it's my bloody money. Seriously, though, yeah, I am sorry. I, 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 I can't guarantee I'll never do it again. But uh, I have also, I have actually always kind of wanted to try. It is Goose Island bourbon uh bourbon county brand stout uh stout aged in bourbon barrels this is the uh 2021 edition uh it is coming in at a whopping 14.4 percent abv in a 500 ml bottle very classy looking bottle it does look um very very it does look great obviously there will be some people out there saying that uh, goose island are a craft brewery um since I believe 2011, they have been owned by AB InBev. Uh, if you're owned by AB InBev, then you're not a craft brewery. You're a huge global conglomerate. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you if, if if as far as you're concerned, Goose Island are still a craft brewery, then you are more than entitled to your wrong opinion. You know, so you do you. You know, I'm not going to get into the ins and outs of it because there are no ins and outs of it. They are not a craft brewery, you know. Are they a good brewery anymore? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, well, it is a classic example, right? So this is the 2021 version. People are saying that the 2021 version is one of the uh, the poorer versions. Uh, so the 2021 version is one of the poorer versions. And uh, what a surprise that a, uh, a a beer that is now owned, well, has been owned now for a long time by um, a huge, by AB and Bev has seen a decline in quality, uh, almost as if... Um, they're brewing for the shareholders and not for the love of it anymore. So, uh, yeah, oh Christ, uh, yeah, because no brewery has ever in history been improved by being bought out by Big Beer. And that's just a straight up fact. You know, I could have done a whole, I could have done a whole fucking video on this and I'm here, like, wasting this on this. I mean, you know, this is mental, as in, yeah. I mean, a classic example is Gamma Ray of today, Beaver Town Gamma Ray of today, is a world away from what it used to be. It used to be a juicy, murky, delicious, hoppy. But it was it was great. It was a ruddy great beer. And now it's bleh. That's like the reverse chef kiss. Well, reverse chef kiss would be sticking the kiss in my mouth, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, we've gone off on a stupid tangent here. So, yeah. So this is the 2011 um, version. Uh, I don't. I can't see anywhere. If, it doesn't say anywhere what uh, bourbon barrels it is aged in. Um, I mean, it could do, but uh, it's brewed and bottled, Goose Island Beer Co., Chicago, Illinois. Notes of vanilla, toffee, chocolate, burnt sugar, and dried fruit. So, yeah, it says that on there. It's useful. Um, but, yeah, we'll get it opened. We'll get it into the glass. I've not, I've never, so I've never had bourbon, um, I've never had this beer. Anyway, so even if this is a, a poor version of it, I don't have anything to measure it against. So, um, yeah, so if it is poor, then I'm just going to think it's a shit beer, you know, because I've never had any of the, the other ones. But yeah, get that open. A lovely bit of smoke. Bit of smoke on the open there. I'm Welsh, I can say that. It's not taking the piss. So, it's fine. The old Emperor's glass. Crikey. And so, uh, yeah. Lovely, uh... No head on that, is there? No head whatsoever. Let's get a little bit further down. A bit of a bigger pour. There we go. Little, uh... Little head form. I tell you what, even though it's a, uh, it's a good, well, it's a good foot and a bit away from my face. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting some notes of this one already. Yeah, you can definitely. They're right there. I tell you what, 
There's tons of toffee on this one. Absolutely loads of toffee. Raisins, or a little bit of a uh, little bit of Pedro Jimenez sherry, the sort of sweet, sweet sherry that you get. I tell you what, it smells bloody lovely. You can tell it's had some time in bourbon barrels. I would, uh, I wouldn't mind knowing which ones they were. I've not even been on Untapped, so I can't even tell you what the what the score is on Untapped for this one. But it smells ruddy wonderful. And it pains me to say that, you know, because I don't want macro beers to be tasting good. I want them to be tasting terrible. You know, I wanted to buy this and be disappointed by it because I can be like, oh, I've made the right decision by not drinking this crap. Um, and I'll tell you what, it's impressing me so far, you know. Not that I'm going to go out and buy like some Honkers Ale, because obviously Goose Island, I think they're most famous for uh, Goose Island IPA, which a lot of you will know as an absolutely shocking IPA. So, um, yeah, it is dog shit. <laughs> All right, things become classics for a reason, I suppose. And if this is it, you know, at its worst, then I can only imagine how lovely it must have been at its best. It's really thick, instantly covers the inside of your mouth, really sweet. You know, you can definitely get the toasted malts right, right at the very end, but it's a real huge sort of toffee fig um there's well chocolate coffee all of that can up front like really sort of freshly drawn espresso straight away that then turns into the sort of caramel chocolate then it ends with sort of like it ends with the pedro jimenez and then it sort of uh, ends up with sort of like just a little bit of bitterness at the very end nice and toasty um it's uh, it's the best uh, Goose Island beer I've ever had, you know, it, it's easily the best Goose Island beer I've ever had. Uh, I think this was, I bought this from Brewcamp, I think it was 13 quid a bottle, which is definitely the most I've ever paid for a uh, a bottle of um, big beer macro nonsense. Um, but it's nice, you know, it's, yeah, I, I can see why people speak so highly about it, I can see why it's uh, been held in such high regard for so, for so long. Mm. not getting any of its um, ABV so in that respect it's a again it's an absolute winner I don't know where my other phone is otherwise I could like to see it might say on there what the uh... actually bear with me a second we're going to see rudimentary editing here while I uh, disappear for like a second and then I'm going to get my phone or I might just not edit that bit out I might just do that there and then come back I mean <coughs> No shade on the guy. I was watching uh, somebody. I was watching someone's live stream uh, the other evening, and he went for a piss in his back garden for about a minute and a half um, during the video. So uh, I don't see there's anything being that wrong there. Also, like I have just thought, I um, this is just me looking at my phone now. That's all. That's what this channel has become. It's me looking at my phone. I did think that um, yesterday I wasn't wearing my shades, was I? So you could you could see my actual eyes. That, that's probably humanised me to a lot of you. Although, to be fair, I have only actually been wearing the shades for like 10 videos. And there's way more where I haven't worn them. So, on reflection, that was a ridiculous thing to say. But still, continuity. Continuity is out of the window on this one. Right, so let's go. We'll have a look on Untapped. This is sh I should have done this beforehand. This is nonsense. Oh, my phone's being slow. Uh, Goose Island. <laughs> Crikey. Talk amongst yourselves, you know. I'll tell you what, um, did anyone see, anyone see on Twitter, or the X as it's now known, the uh, shithousery that was aimed at um, Dead Crafty in uh, Liverpool last night from uh, a beer podcast who uh, should know better than that? Uh, I'm not going to name their names because I don't want to cast too much shade, but... Uh, Righty, someone made themselves look like a bit of a wanker last night, didn't they? I mean, the chances of them watching this is quite a, is quite slim. But uh, okay, 
So Bourbon County brands out 2023. Oh, it's not 2023, it's 2021. Come on. Okay, Bourbon 2021. This is dreadful. Okay, so it's got, I tell you what, it has got a 14, 14, it's 14, that's its percentage. That's its percentage. Whereas it has got a 4.41 on untapped. So that is a pretty great score. Okay, our rich imperial stout is blended for a mix of bourbon barrels from distilleries such as Heaven Hill, Wild Turkey and Buffalo Trace, each aged in freshly emptied bourbon barrels for 8 to 14 months. Okay, so we've narrowed it down to Heaven Hill, Wild Turkey and Buffalo Trace, which are, to be fair, three of my favourite um, distilleries. Um, I Maker's Mark being my favourite. Maker's Mark, for my money, do the best bourbon. But yeah, I'll tell you what, this has been out of the fridge for about... Uh, about... 40 minutes before I started recording, so yeah, 50 minutes and 51 minutes now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, based on that, if I can get it next year, I'll probably buy it again. Yeah, it's uh, perfectly. I don't know, I'd speak high, I'd speak higher of it, I'd be nicer about it if it wasn't. Uh, you know, if it wasn't macro sludge, you know, but, um, yeah. And also the mind boggles, like I said, but how good it must have been in years past. Um, but yeah, that's a, a absolutely thoroughly quaffable um, imperial stout. I'm going to head off now. I've got a short rib ragu cooking downstairs. Short ribs are, although they're cool now, so they're like twice the price they used to be. That annoys me. Yeah, well... That does bug me a bit. But yeah, as always, thank you very much for your watching. If you've managed to make it this far, I mean, Christ, I assume your telly's broken or something like that. But if you have made it this far, that's super, super appreciated. Um, while you're here, you may as well like and subscribe. You know, that's always also appreciated. I'm talking my hands a lot, I mean, it looks ridiculous. Yeah, you may as well like and subscribe, seeing as how you're here anyway. And yeah, thank you very much indeed for watching. And uh, I'll be posting more stouts over the course of December, but not as many as I originally thought because otherwise I might to myself because that's a lot of high ABV booze. Okay, well, I'll see you all in a bit. Take care of yourselves yet in a bit, but just like and subscribe yet in a bit. Bye -bye.